Hey, hey, hey. It's Wednesday. And we're here. We are here. We are doing it live, Savannah. In 15 degree weather. <laughs> is it's it? so cold outside. <laughs> it is cold. No wonder my car even felt like it had a hard time starting today. I was like, yeah. what is going on? We are talking um, about basics and how, like, how to adjust your curls and then the basics and how that gets you there. So we're going to talk about on base and off base. Yeah. I'm making this up as we go, so that's why I'm tapping Savannah, like, start thinking now so you can be ready for it. Um, so let's talk about um, basic things, because I know there's going to be a lot of you still with new irons and, you know, making sure that you guys have the basics covered and why it's so important that you have the basics covered, I think is like, <clears throat> once you know that, you can understand how to break the rules because you just really need to understand the basics and then you can break the rules. And that's why it's so hard for me not to be able to curl. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. isn't it hard for yeah. you to not, I can't like, mess it up anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like when I try and not curl, I'm like, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> basics things are, this is the iron. This is the on off button. Okay. So if I just push it like this, it's going to keep it on because the push quick is on and push and hold is off. But I always hold it too long because I just always unplug mine. Do you do off? No, do I always unplug? unplug. I always unplug too. So let's, um, but it's just press and hold to do off. But I don't, do you guys all just unplug it? Because it's so much easier. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about temperature. This is 300, 325, 350, 375, and 400. Okay, so I just want you to know that those are indicating your different temperature variances. Um, yeah, so that's what that does. Okay. When you turn your iron off or unplug it and plug it in again the next day, it will remember the temperature. So if I had it on 325 and I turn it off, maybe oh, <laughs> a little longer. I always okay. That's okay. So then I turn it off and then it'll go back to the temperature where I start left it yesterday. So just a heads up that it does that. Okay. So let's talk about what do you do for the basics. Basics are, you ready? You gonna mimic with me? Sure. Okay, so put your thumb behind the light. So this is behind the light and then this is the Wrong. opposite way. Yep. Once you have um, your thumb behind the light, then it's about approaching your head on the right side with your thumb up, okay? So we're gonna go in and we're going to put the guide side towards your head or the curved side of the iron towards your head. So. It's very easy for people to do it wrong. So what does that look like? So if you're holding the iron the right way and you go in with the wrong side, it looks like this. Yep. Or you can start, like a lot of times I see people start like this and then they like have their wrist uncomfortable and they'll flip their iron at the last second. And then it will look like Savannah's instead of mine. Mm -hmm. So just know that you really want to make sure that you're approaching it with the light where you can see it. Do you see how you can't see Savannah's light in the mirror or in your reflection? Okay, so that's key. And then you're going to close and rotate and then it'll go forward towards the mirror. Okay, so let's talk about closing and rotating, okay? I'm gonna show you the right way. Here's the wrong way. Okay, so now let's try and close and rotate and what are we gonna look like? Okay, do you see the difference? So she's got like, she's got an no awkward hold. Yeah, I, can, I can't rotate back anymore without adjusting my grip. Yep, like and this. that's when you see people doing this. Okay, and then you can also, when you do that, you're on the straightening side, so it's going to curl different. Because you can curl with a straightener. Nobody's arguing that you can't. You can always do that with this iron, but I'm just saying it works in a different way, and this way, the the grip and the ease of use when you do it the way we designed it for it's going to be a hundred thousand times easier for you all right so let's do left side thumb behind light so as i approach you can see the light is facing you so me the curler should always be able to see the light when i'm got the when i'm facing the mirror Shoo, that was a lot of work <laughs> okay so you can see that the first thing we want to do is thumbs down so my thumb is down Mm -hmm. and Savannah's thumb is up. Do you see how, so she wants to adjust to have thumb down instead of having thumb up. This is a very common mistake. Honestly, if you come here and you realize, oh, I did it wrong, you don't even have to leave the section. Just yeah. flip the iron upside down. Yeah, before you squeeze though. Yeah. So here, 
Here's the right way. Mm -hmm. Elbow up in the air. Yep. Thumb down. Okay. So we're going to do thumb down. We're going to go in and close and rotate. Now, if you close and rotate and you're going forward towards the mirror, you're going to get one thing. And if you go out to the side, you're going to get another. So look at how different we look. Ready? Let's go in again and we'll, I'll go forward towards the mirror and you go out to the side. So that is the difference between a more, you're going to get more curl doing what I did and less curl doing what Savannah did. Mm -hmm. So my iron's off, so I just got like a barely there curl, but I do love that curl. Oh, um, <laughs> that's a good curl. Um, so basically what you wanna do is know that when you see the hair on this back side, the more you see running across here, the more curl you're creating. The less you see running across there, so if you go out to the side, which creates a great curl, just know that you can rotate it a little bit more to get a little bit more curl if you like to go out to the side and get that like different kind of curl. I feel like when you go out to the side, you get more of like the voluminous. If you yeah. go up and out, it just creates like a lot of like fullness in the mm -hmm. curl. I agree. Whereas when you go forward, it's creating a little bit more of a defined curl. And why is that? That's that on base thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when, they, when we're in school, they teach us like, if your hair is going the same direction as your set, so like if we're perming it or putting rollers in, you see how if I go straight up, I'm gonna get very full. If I go forward, I'm going to have like a different curl. And if I go back, I'm going to have a different curl. And it's very easy to see the difference. See how much slack, see how it's tight, and then see how I would have a dip. So it's going to change your curl by how you place it. And that applies to a roller sitting stagnant like this or any iron you use and how you angle it. Mm -hmm. So lots of times you'll see like hairstylists creating like a certain, like they'll hold their iron like this and that gives them one type of wave and they hold it like this and it gives them another type of wave. And this usually gets that like red carpet glam wave and they're bigger and full. And then you get that like big full look or if you create it more vertically, you get like more of like the beachy wave look usually. Now, there's a bunch of different factors in there, so it's not always 100%, but I'm just saying like that's the good basics to like start off of. So if my curl wants to be more full, use that premise, right? I wanna use like the straight up. So wherever your hair is straight, so if it's going straight forward, my fullness comes by putting straight forward or if I'm lifting straight up, my fullness comes by lifting straight out, like up here. It gets kind of complex. So <laughs> I can see you thinking about it like, does that apply? No, yeah. I think it does. I was just trying to think of there, if there was like a different way to say it that maybe mm -hmm. some people would understand. Um, I think the biggest thing for me whenever I first started playing around with the iron and trying to figure out like what kind of curls I liked, because there are so many options, mm -hmm. just do like if you just have a day where you don't really care like how your curls turn out, do one curl going forward, do one curl going out to the side, and then look at them side by side and see the Video difference. yourself too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That it helps a lot. It is such a difference when you video your style. You will see lots of different things in it. And if you video it and have questions, like I can answer for you. I'm yeah, happy to, to do that. Oh my gosh. That would be like so easy for me to answer if I see a picture of any sort. Like it helps me so much mm -hmm. in answering questions. Yeah, and whenever you video, you can play it back and say like, okay, yeah. I really liked yeah. this curl, I didn't like this one, yeah. what was I doing different? Yeah. And you can see that you were probably holding the iron at a different angle yeah. or rotating a different amount. So. Yeah, like um, the other day, um, I was going through one of the influencers that um, we have. She's mm -hmm. really great. Um, she has a really cool accent. She had a white shirt on. Oh, uh, Christina. Christina, yeah. And um, I know she said in her video that her right side is very different than her left. And like, it was such an easy thing for me to pick up on that her left side is very much like at this angle. And then her right side, even though it turns out good, her right side is just a little bit shorter. So if she wanted to really refine it, the differences is just picking up her elbow. Sorry, Savannah. Very good. Um, so do you see how, so it, she starts really good and then she brings her arm down like this. And that little tweak of just going doop is all she needed yeah. to make this side kind of match the left side because it seemed like she liked the left side a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So on the left side, her angle was like this and on the right side, her angle was like mm -hmm. this. 
Yep. So all she needed to do was make her angle the same on the mm -hmm. other side. Yep. And so like little things like that are very easy to pick up in a, in a little, if you have like your camera, you video it and then you take a screenshot of yourself on the curl, then you put it next to the other one and you'll be like, oh my gosh, there's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Like, and if you can't see it, we can, so we can help you see it very easy. If you just go this and this are my movements, what am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, it'd be like a five second, like mm -hmm. it's a visual that's so easy for us to Something see. Something that she used to teach a lot was, um, if you use a dry erase board marker or a lipstick on the mirror, mm -hmm. um, if you, ha if you know you like your curl on one side, draw a line where your iron is whenever you're curling mm -hmm. and then match it on the other side. So it looks like the top of the triangle, but mm -hmm. just make it the same. If the line's here, then make the line here yep. on the other side. And then if you just match your angle up to that every time, then all you have to do is pay attention to how much you're rotating and yeah. then you just push forward. Yeah. It's so key. The reason you're able to create so many curls with this iron is because of how many angles are available to you because you can, do so many different angles within here and here and here you can create the gamut so yes your your angles are going to make huge differences in how your curls turn out mm -hmm. and you also have this mm -hmm. so you have a lot of variances in it and that's why and it listens good and that's why it's a little bit more complex to learn but I don't even know if it's complex to learn but I think that the basics are really easy but mm -hmm. once you want to get in and like refine and figure out exactly like what kind of curl you want to create yeah then that's where like it's not that it gets more complex it's just more options yeah it's so many options so like, but I love that because I never have to bring another tool with me anywhere <laughs> ever again same same I love that Keisha said Savannah can you explain how you normally do your curls yours seem to be looser or more relaxed mm-hmm um, yes. So typically I actually, something that maybe makes them look more relaxed is that I don't have them done right now, obviously, but usually I have my curtain bangs, um, kind of looking like this. Mm -hmm. And so everything from like here forward, I don't really curl. Um, so that is part of why it probably looks super relaxed because there's no curl happening until about here in the front. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Um, beyond that, the way to make sure that you just get loose curls, I like to take kind of a bigger section. Um, that way my curls still have like nice fullness, but they're not, like they don't look stringy and dreaded, like how they can, yeah. can sometimes whenever you take really small sections. Small sections really are a struggle for me to look at one yeah. moment, I think. So, and then my rotation is about here. So whenever I put the iron in, it was here, and then I only rotated to here. Can if you, you turn to the side a little bit more? Back the back other side? Um, yes. Okay, turn now turn, side? yeah. So you can kind of see where her road, go like, turn this way. I just want them to see how much, see how much is here. Mm -hmm. Now rotate more. Like, you can see how much rotation she has. So how much is, now glide forward so they can see. Mm -hmm. And then once I get to the bottom, I always leave out about this much hair. So I'll, I like to draw it down um, what I mean by that is take my iron from here to here, and I'm yeah. going straight down. If you look from the side, going forward and then coming straight down. Ooh, like that, that was a good one. Show that again. We should do that on the left side too. Yeah. So to elongate the ends, forward and then straight down. Like that. So then on the left side, same thing, not rotating too much, and then drawing down like mm -hmm. that. That drawing down is so important on your curl. It is, it makes all of the difference because if I don't do that, then the curl is going all the way to the end and I lose about this much hair. <laughs> <laughs> the length, yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. <laughs> That's why my prom picture is so bad. My hair was like super long and it went mm -hmm. And I was like Ooh. One thing that I really like about drawing down, um, aside from everything, <laughs> is, is that um, I can create really any type of curl from like here to here. And if I want it to be more voluminous or if I want it to be fuller or more beachy, I can do that from here to here. But no matter what, it's going to look relaxed as long as I draw down from here to here. Yeah. So I can change up the type of curl that I get without removing Losing a bunch of length. length and also making it look too, too polished. Yeah. Like, like Overdone. Yeah. 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 All right. Another question, Cecilia said, how can I achieve an open curl with more peaks and valleys? 
the type I get with a clipless curling iron. I don't use my iron because I can't get that look. More peaks so of valleys. So she uses a raw so iron. So more consistent curl. So she wants more peaks of valleys. So she's getting yes. a tendril curl. Like, you know where it gets like a yeah. tunnel? I bet she gets so like a, a tunnel. Drill. Cool. Curl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good general rule. I'm guessing you have fine to medium hair. Let me know if you don't, because that will make a difference in how I teach. Um, when you have fine to medium hair, your your curls tendency is to be more of a barrel roll, where it's like the Chinese handcuffs look instead of like a curl. So when you are trying to create not a barrel, right? So she, what, what she's probably doing is a curl more like vertical. this. And so you're keeping it more vertical. And so what will happen is everything will kind of wrap together and create like a very like consistent curl. Like it'll look like it's just wrapped around your finger kind of, except for all spread out kind of. Okay, so what I want you to do is try, you're gonna have to try a couple of things because everybody's hair is a little different. You can try more horizontal like this and less rotation like this and see that. And then the other thing that you can do is get your iron very angled like that and do a lean back curl. Lean back curl would be my goal for you to try because that's where you're really going to see like the big valleys and peaks more. It's gonna be more beachy looking and um, really awesome. So if you can get to learn the lean back curl is where I think you're gonna find the best result. But you're, you need your iron more horizontal than vertical as you're traveling forward. And then you can try a little less rotation, so less of rooming of the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye.